Hi, today I'm going to show you how to install Dividend On Demand plugin and how to use it to load any layout on your page in just a few clicks. As an example, I'm going to use this beautiful layout that you can get for free. So let's get started. To install Dividend On Demand, go to Plugins and then click Add New. Click Upload Plugin and then Browse. Locate the file you downloaded, select it and click Open and then click Install Now. Once the plugin is installed, activate it. Once you have the plugin installed, you are ready to load the layouts on your page. Go to Edit Page Screen and make sure that the DV Builder is enabled. Click Load Layout and select Dividend On Demand tab. Here you can see layouts on your right and on your left you can see filters that helps you more easily find the layouts that you need. You can search by keyword, you can choose between free or premium layouts and you can filter them by topic, product or by page type. In this example I want to use Dividend On Demand landing page, the one that I showed you earlier. To load it, you can simply click the load button. If you want to have a more detailed look on the layout, you can click the preview button and see the layout in action on an actual page. To load it, simply click the load button and wait. If you have been using our freebie layouts earlier, you know that uh, you have to import the layout to the library, then load it to the page and after that you need to also add CSS. But guess what? With Dividend On Demand everything is automatical, even the CSS is automatically added into the page settings. There isn't anything you should do in addition. Simply update the page and you're ready to go. Let's preview. And there you go really nice looking layout that you can get completely for free. Also let me show you how you can customize this layout very quickly. For example if you want to change the branding color, perhaps you want to change this blue into the green. Let me show you how that's done. And for that I'm going to use Visual Builder. You can enable it by clicking this button here. If you haven't been using Visual Builder yet, it allows you to simply hover over an element and edit it without leaving the page. Let's start with this blue line here and change it to green. To do that, I'm just going to hover over it and then click the module settings and toggle the color. Here I'm going to change to green and save. And as you can see, the line has immediately turned to green. You can then save the page or continue editing. You can quickly save by holding the control button and pressing S if you like. Then let's change the button colors. Again go to module settings, then toggle the options you need. Here we want to change the button options. First background color, then also button border color. And don't forget to change the button hover colors as well. Then again save the module and there you go. We have another line here and we are going to change it as the same as we did earlier. Scrolling down, here we have this read more text and we can edit this text color by changing the CSS on the page. Go to page settings and open custom CSS. Here you are looking for this section here, our mission 3 blurbs. And what you're looking for is anchor tags color. That's this here. I'm going to change this value to the green color I used on other modules. Let's save. There we go. Scrolling down, here we have these icons and these borders under the module. To change it, Again, let's go to module settings. Here what we're looking for is image and icon first. Let's change 
icon color and also we want to change the border here it is toggle border select button border and then simply uh, change the uh, color of it nice trick you can use is you can copy the module settings and paste it automatically to other modules to do that uh, click this module then hold the control alt and press C to copy then go here and press alt control and V to paste there you go and here as well now let's see what else we have we have this button here let's change the color of it uh, we're looking for button again button background color button border color well in this example as well you could just paste the settings from the other button and let's also change these titles here you can hover over go to module settings toggle title text and then change the color then just repeat the process for other two modules or use the copy and paste option anything you want let's paste this one and let's exit visual builder and preview our page and see whether everything looks like we want all right so this line is changed button looks good line here read more text has been changed as well everything looks very well and that's it for this tutorial we really hope that you will like dividend on demand thanks for watching